Hi, I'm Beth Hansen at Hansen Crafts, and we've had some people just getting started with spinning and have some questions regarding drafting. So the first thing that's important is to establish the length of the fibers that you are going to be drafting. Um, and that's important because if you have your hands too close together when you're trying to draft, you're pulling on both ends of the same fiber, and that just won't work. You can see if I have my hands like this and I'm pulling and I'm really pulling hard with my right hand, nothing happens. If I move my hand back a little bit further and I pull, there it goes. Then I can come back, pull, and there it goes. The other thing is the hand that's holding your fiber can't be holding really tight or of course nothing's going to happen either. Grip that we like to suggest is holding a little bit with your ring and baby finger but the fingers, the index finger and thumb are very light touch. So we talk about it like a little baby bird. You don't want to squeeze any harder than, than you would a baby bird. And then you can see that fiber just slipping. And then as I progress, I can slide my hand back further. And I'm just going to draft out like that. So what I'm doing right now, we would call pre-drafting because I'm not spinning and I'm drafting, but we call it pre-drafting. So now I've got a length of, of fiber prepared that I could actually just go ahead and put twist into. Before I do that, I want to show you another kind of fiber. So this is called just a roving. You can see that the fibers are all mixed up in there and it's pretty easy for drafting and better for beginners. This is a comb top. The fibers are a little more organized. I pull it out. Again, I want to find out how long those fibers are. And that will tell me how close I can put my hands together. This would be too close. Back here, I will be able to get some drafting going. So with this, again, I'm holding with my pinky and ring finger really light with my thumb and index finger. And then drafting, coming back and drafting, coming back and drafting. And this particular fiber is um, from a company called Ferndale Fiber, and it's potluck roving, which is all wool, uh, about 24 microns. It's called potluck because it doesn't matter what kind of wool or sheep it comes from, as long as it's 24 microns. All right, so again, this is pre-drafting. I'm going to set this guy aside for a second and get my spinner set up. Um, as a beginner, it's a good idea to keep your speed pretty slow to start with. Um, for me, it's just going to be a, a speed to start with. I'm going to attach my pre-drafted fiber to the end of my leader and then let the twist come into it and slide my fingers back, letting the twist come in. Every time I draw forward, that lets the fiber or the thread get drawn onto the bobbin. So you can see I don't have to do much drafting because it's already drafted. Now I'm going to come to the part that I haven't pre drafted. So now again, that same loose on the index finger and thumb, and I'm going to draw out a little fiber. And the amount of fiber I draw out is kind of based on how thick a th a thread I want to make. If I want to make a thicker thread, I'm going to draw out bigger clumps. If I want to make a thinner, I'm going to draw it out a little bit further and then just pick up a little bit each time. I don't open my fingers and let the twist come back in. And that's talked about in one of my other little tutorial videos. So that's that kind of drafting. Now I'm going to take the potluck roving and just splice it on and I just let the wool itself grab a hold and I'm just barely putting any pull on this and I'm letting the twist come back in to what was pre-drafted. So you see I sort of did the hard work first and now I'm just letting the twist in and now I'm letting it wind on, letting the twist in, letting it wind on and now I'm drafting at the same time. So you can have, make a choice, pre-draft it, 
as a beginner, it might be helpful to do some pre-drafting. And then once you get the feel for it, you can just draft away. And I can move my hands around a little bit, as long as I don't let that twist jump back. If I get too much twist behind my fingers, it won't draft anymore. All right, that'll get you started, and then you'll have more fun playing the fiber.